Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about information exchange capabilities and their critical role in supply chain management strategy. Let's start by defining a basic supply chain. A supply chain is a set of three or more organizations linked together by one or more upstream and downstream flows of products, services, finances, and information from a source to a customer. Now there's a lot packed into that short definition, but for now, let's just focus on the flow of information, or more importantly, the capability to flow information throughout a supply chain. Let's start by thinking about an example we can all relate to, grocery shopping. I wanna share with you the shopping experience I had as a kid and compare that to the shopping experience I now have as an adult. When I was a kid back in the 70s, going shopping meant arguing with my brother over who got to push the cart and walking down every aisle of the store and being constantly told, don't touch anything, while mom or dad selected the items we needed. Whenever junk food appeared, the pleading of, mommy, 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 can we please have, would be cut off instantly with a resounding no. Now as an adult, I take my kids to the store and replay the same shopping sequence from my youth but now I'm in the role of the no fun parent. Although on rare occasions, I've been known to ghost ride a shopping cart to my children's delight. But in the 70s or now, the picking out of groceries from a shelf shopping experience was essentially the same. Now let's look at the checkout experience. As a kid, this was the worst part of shopping because you had to stand still and patiently wait while a cashier checks us out. And believe it or not, checkout was even slower back then because the cashier had to pick up each item, look for a price sticker, and then type the price into the cash register. After all the items were manually entered into the cash register, your purchases were totaled and you paid your bill. Today, the cashier still grabs each item, but instead of looking for a price sticker, the cashier looks for a barcode. And instead of typing in a price, the cashier scans the barcode which automatically types the price of the product into the cash register. Once all the items in your cart are scanned, your purchase is calculated, you pay your bill, and then you head home. Other than typing versus scanning, the checkout process at a grocery store is still remarkably similar a few decades later. Although the consumer shopping and checkout experiences haven't changed much over the years, the information exchange capabilities and resulting retail supply chain practices changed substantially. When I was a kid, the cash register was just a basic adding machine. It did not track any item level sales or inventory information. It did not share any supplier demand information with anyone. Suppliers had no idea what was selling. Come to think of it, even the retailers didn't know what was selling. They would just conduct a manual inventory count at the end of the week and order more of what they were running low on. Astute store managers might be able to back into what was selling based on what they were ordering, but there was not a lot of data to crunch or information available to optimize supply chain operations. Contrast the information exchange capabilities of my youth with today's digitally connected world. As soon as a barcode is scanned at a retail checkout line, information can be instantly updated and shared throughout a retail organization and the broader supply chain. Modern big box retailers have access to sales, inventory on hand, and inventory on order information for any item store combination at any point in time. And they can aggregate this information in very powerful ways. This data enables them to more precisely forecast demand, run replenishment systems, and plan for labor capacity in stores or distribution centers. It helps merchants select better products and it enables marketers to identify the effects of promotional activities. These are just some of the benefits of sharing information across internal functional areas. However, by collecting point of sale data and making it readily available throughout the supply chain, other companies are also able to use the data to make their operations more efficient and effective. Strategically advanced companies have highly developed information exchange capabilities that provide upstream supply chain members with real-time access to valuable supply and demand information. As soon as a consumer makes a purchase, point of sale data can instantly update supply chain members so they can plan and optimize more effectively. 
distributors or manufacturers no longer have to wait for retailers' orders to get a rough idea of what consumer demand looks like. Supply chain members no longer have to maintain massive amounts of safety stock or incur substantial lost sales costs because they now have the information needed for detailed analysis that results in better decisions. As a result of improved information exchange capabilities, supply chain costs have dramatically declined over the past few decades. We now leverage information to drive down costs. We have literally pulled billions of dollars of cost and inventory out of retail supply chains. We've also dramatically improved in-stock service levels by developing better and better information exchange capabilities. And not only have we driven down costs and improved in-stock service levels, but we're now able to rapidly reduce lead times for products and services. Highly developed information exchange capabilities help all supply chain members do things better, cheaper, and faster. Information exchange capabilities also help us attack one of the biggest challenges a supply chain can face, and that is the bullwhip effect. The bullwhip effect is where demand signals get distorted and amplified as they move back upstream. Bullwhip can lead to waste, tension, inefficiency, and dissatisfied customers. In order to minimize the adverse effects of bullwhip, retailers can provide timely and accurate information to all supply chain members and allow everyone to plan and optimize based on actual demand rather than perceived or derived demand signals. In terms of supply chain strategy, information exchange capabilities are a valuable resource that can help firms migrate to more advantageous positions that are much easier to manage. More specifically, information exchange capabilities enable supply chain members to reduce demand uncertainty as well as supply uncertainty. By providing critical information to supply chain members, uncertainty is reduced and that reduction allows firms to pursue more optimal, risk-free strategies with a greater focus on proactive planning rather than reactive adjustments. The beauty of leveraging information is that it violates one of the most basic relationships in supply chain management. Typically, it takes a cost increase to improve service. However, with highly developed information exchange capabilities, firms can serve customers better with lower costs in a much more predictable supply chain environment.